there welcome back to my channel and i am teacher man for today's video we will learn how to find or get the least common multiple of two given numbers basic diba pero isa to sa pinaka importante na matutunan or ma master natin kasi magagamit natin to sa kahit high school ka or college ka um let exams civil service exams magagamit at magagamit mo to and at the end of this video it's your turn to apply what you've learned and kung bago ka or bago mo akong nakita, don't forget to subscribe here and click the bell button for you to be notified for more basic math videos. Are you excited? If you are ready, then let's start. Pagkuha ng least common multiple or LCM, kailangan din natin dito yung mga prime numbers. Yung mga prime numbers na gagamitin natin ngayon sa discussion natin ay 2, 3, 5, and 7. But again, take note, Marami pang mga prime numbers. Ito lang yung gagamitin natin ngayon. Okay? Sa unang method na ituturo ko sa inyo sa pagkuha ng LCM ay yung tinatawag natin na factor 3 or prime factorization. Dito sa factor 3, uh, ito yung ginamit natin dun sa pagkuha ng greatest common factor. So, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yun, pwede nyo siyang i-check. I'll give you the link dun sa description. At kung may time kayo, pwede nyo siyang panoorin. So, first, find LCM of 9 and 14. So, kunin muna natin yung factors ni 9. Again, pag sinabi nating factors, yung mga numbers na kapag pinag-multiply natin, it will give us uh, the product or the answer of a certain number. So, in our case, we have 9. Ang factors ni 9 ay 3 and 3. Because 3 times 3 is 9. By the way, add ko lang din da sa factor 3 natin, kailangan yung pinakadulo ng ating factor 3 ay prime number. So, since sabi ko kanina, yung 3 is a prime number, so stop na yung factor 3 natin dyan. Doon naman tayo kay 14. Si 14, ang factors niya ay 2 and 7. So, since 2 and 7 are also prime numbers, stop na rin tayo dyan. Pagkatapos nun, i-list down lang natin yung mga prime numbers or um, prime factors ni 9 at saka ni 14. So, kay 9 yung 3 and 3, then kay 14 naman ay yung 2 and 7. Pagkatapos nyan, yung mga numbers o yung mga prime numbers na nakikita nyo ngayon, lahat yan, yung 3, 3, 7, and 2, i-multiply natin silang lahat. So, 2 times 3. 6, 6 times 3 is 18, though, then 18 times 7 is 126. Therefore, the LCM of 9 and 14 is 126. Alright, next, for our next example, we have find the LCM of 20 and 30. So, same procedure, kunin natin ng uh, prime or Factors rather than 20 and 30, unahin muna natin si 20. Factors niya ay 2 and 10. But, um, if you will notice, yung 20, meron pa siyang ibang factors like 4 and 5, diba? 4 times 5 is also 20. So, pwede nyo rin na uh, gamitin yun. Kayo na mamili ko yung gagamitin nyo, it's either 2 times 10 or 4 times 5. Since pareho lang naman sila. So, in this case, gagamitin ko yung 2 times 10. And si 10, hindi pa siya prime number, di ba? Kaya, kunin pa natin factors niya. So, factors niya ay 2 times 5. So, since 2 and uh, 5 are prime numbers, so again, stop na tayo dyan. Okay, 30 naman tayo. Factors ni 30, we have 2 and 15. So, 15 is not yet a prime number. So, kunin pa natin factor si 15. So, we have 3 and 5. So, again, 3 and 5 are already prime numbers. So, let's stop it there or let's end it there. Then, list down lang ulit natin yung prime factor si 20, which are 2, 2 and 5. Then, ganun din kay 30. So, let natin 2, 3 and 5. Then, sa case ni 20 and 30, kung mapapansin nyo, meron silang common factor. ba? 
So, yung common factor nila na 2 at saka 5, isusulat na lang natin siya as 2 times 5. So, hindi doble ha. Yung 2 as 1 lang sulat and then yung 5 as 1 lang din natin ay sulat. Pero, yung remaining na prime factor ni 20 at saka ni 30 which is 2 and 3, isusulat din natin siya kasama ni 25 multiply din natin. So, we have 2 times 5, 10. 10 times 2 is 20. 20 times 3 is 60. That's why the LCM of 20 and 30 is 60. Alright, so it's your turn. Enjoy!